Scorpios, welcome. This is your singles reading for the second half of January 2022. This is a love, romance, and relationship reading with four cards. And we also have up here the bottom of the deck, which is the hermit in this case. This uh, make it easier to see. Um, so this is the position of your energy, where you're at in terms of love, romance, and relationship. That's also the Pluto card. And most uh, significantly right now, we have this Venus retrograde uh, where Pluto's in Capricorn. Venus has been uh, involved with Pluto. I think the whole retrograde kind of has that uh, flavor to it because, you know, it's stations there. And um, so this could be about transformation. And this is if this is where you're at now with judgment, it's like I think it's like it comes at the end of transformation. And now you're being called up. Uh, typically, this means to a higher duty. And a lot of times with judgment, uh, it's a difficult energy, I think, to go into a relationship with. But God, remember the hermit's overall energy, too. So. See, the hermit just shines his light on himself, does the really good work, spiritual work, goes into cave. Hermit's not like, oh, my ex did this and my ex didn't do that, blah, blah, blah. Hermit's like, you know, only wants to understand themselves. What do they need to know to be a better person, you know? Um, so out of that, you know, you got to think it bears fruit. And this is, I think, you being called up in Probably being that this is where you're at, I think you're, uh, if this is your reading, I'd love to make a comment, um, you are uh, heeding the call here. This shows a Scorpio, you know, maybe a little bit older, you work through some things, you're, you're operating at a new level. I think judgment too, if you heed judgment, if we heed judgment, we're always stepping into the flow of our life's purpose, you know, this is that gut feeling we have. A lot of times it's something we don't want to do, you know. Uh, some commitment we don't really want to make. It could be to our own growth, to our own healing kind of thing. Now, this is what's blocking, though, which is, the I put it in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, which is a great card. Now, in the Ethereal Visions deck, it really uh, emphasizes uh, cooperation here in the Three of Pentacles. It's also the Good Worker card doing the good work, a personal work, strong work uh, uh, of self. <clears throat> that You know, that work that only we can do. Um, really, ideally, it's just a great good worker, a great craftsman. But here it's reversed, so it got to be implying that there needs to be work put in still that hasn't been put in. And maybe that's why the hermit is still there. Um, and you may see this judgment call, like this call, like the reason we don't heed this is because, well, I mean, it may require work. I mean, it may be something just to be put it in an example. You're 40, 50, whatever years old, and you've decided you really need to go back and, and get your master's or go back to graduate school and get your PhD or, you know, um, in you kind of know that's what you're going to do. It's this too with the pinnacles. It could be maybe uh, you want to think of it in terms of advice with the six of swords. Now this is your advice card. Uh, it's moving away from something. It, I mean, this could be a person, but this is a singles reading. So it feels like moving away from some kind of mindset here. And so... Scorpio, it's, uh, it's pretty deep, you know, Scorpionic stuff, too. You know, that's why I point towards Pluto. It's your planet. It's in uh, Capricorn now. Venus is on there. It's a love reading. Uh, you know, it, what could be happening with this retrograde, how significant with it is Pluto, we're really going deep and really changing uh, how we feel about uh, what it is we desire, what it is we really want, you know. Um so in that regard, this three of pinnacles reversed uh, can make sense. Could be this Mercury retrograde, pinnacles, Capricorn. Uh, this energy is driving us to really look practically, deeply, realistically at what it is we really want. Capricorn's all about the goats, about climbing, about growth. You know, 
what is it we really want to align ourselves with? Judgments when we choose, make a judgment, I think, to align ourselves with some hopefully higher purpose. If not, you know, it's not good. Um, this certainly applies with advice from spirit that you have to mentally move away from some kind of uh, mental pattern. <clears throat> I think I'll clarify that. With the outcome being the Queen of Pentacles, um, this shows, Scorpio, that if you're not already feeling this, it's like uh, it's okay to come out of this cave. Um, you need to turn this three uh, pinnacles around. That might actually involve cooperation, like literally with in some way. Um, you know, it's like you choosing here to align yourself in such a way that you begin to cooperate, you know, in a meaningful way. And this brings real stability. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles knows her own worth, has enough, is uh, doesn't operate from any kind of lack, uh, operates from strength. It's always known to run the best kingdom, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's a long way from the Hermit, you know, guys. Wow. Nine of Cups. Some kind of clarifying. This Six of Swords, it seems to me you're being asked to move. This would represent a person and offering the cup of love, you know. Um, you, you know, if you're the Queen of Pentacles, this would be a knight. It wouldn't be that terrible for a queen to entertain a knight. He's a bold knight or she's a bold knight and brings their cup uh, sincerely. And with the Knight of Cups, this would be someone offering themselves emotionally you know, to you. I think they would be recognizing you as a queen, too. So it'd be some sense that they would be um, younger than you, perhaps, or less somehow substantial to you. They might kind of look up to you in some way. You know, they might not admit it. Uh, cut bar puts you on a pedestal, maybe. Here you are, this queen of pinnacles. But yeah, I like it, guys. You know, it's a singles reading. That shows something in the very near future. We're talking about the end of January time frame. Uh, showing up for you in a real offer here with the Knight of Cups. That's a pretty damn solid offer. Uh, in fact, that shows that very soon, if something isn't already going on, somebody's going to pop up and it's going to be uh, one of those fast ones. I don't know how you feel about that, Scorpio. Where you date a few times and they're like, oh my God, I love you. So give me a like, guys, if you would. Help me get this uh, going with the AI uh, <laughs> algorithm. And uh, do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys. Thursday's always leaving Scorpio Day.